I'd have to say the thing I enjoy about drawing the most, at least for what I do, it, it's probably the the fun aspect of it. Like if I'm working on a comedy and if I have a roommate or we're just bouncing around jokes and ideas, I'd have to say that's the most enjoyable part of it, uh, for storyboarding anyways. Um, for for just purely drawing, uh, I don't know. I guess I like I like just I don't I don't necessarily like the aspect of just sitting down and, and sketching. I know a lot of people do that. Um, I've, I've never been naturally talented at just drawing. Like I tend to have to draw things over and over. Um, I, I like the aspect of learning, so like if I sit down to sketch, I tend to, sorry I'm all sweaty from skating, I tend to uh, sit down to try to study and learn something, I enjoy that, um, or creating some kind of image that looks like it's from a film or a little storytelling moment, so those are the kinds of things that I, that I like. I definitely like to do more comics, uh, that's probably my favorite favorite thing to do is just the most time consuming and the most work. Uh, I, I like storyboarding as well, um, but definitely the idea of being able to do, because you kind of get to almost be like an art director in a way when you do the, the comics as well as a storyboard artist, so I like kind of merging those two fields together. How did you get into DreamWorks? I, I went through the story training program maybe four and a half years ago, I just applied, and I got lucky. <laughs> what advice would you have for kids who want to be artists when they grow up? Uh, one thing I noticed when I was first starting is I, I took a lot of classes, like, because again, I mentioned, like, I really love learning stuff, um, and almost every teacher I came across said something along the lines of, like, this is the only way to draw or this is the only way to be an artist or this is how you have to do it and then you'd get to the next teacher and he would tell you the exact opposite and then tell you that was the way to do it and at some point I remember I really liked like manga and stuff that nobody likes especially a lot of the teachers and uh, and they all say oh no don't ever draw like this or don't ever draw like that and, I, and at some point I just realized well, I just want to draw however I want to draw <laughs> And uh, I'd say don't don't be too influenced by your peers or your mentors and what they tell you is good or what they tell you is bad, because you really just want to do what you like. So that that would be my biggest my biggest thing. And then for me, I think at the time I was doing a lot of painting and a lot of like more realism. And then I just saw this picture I think Freddie Moore drew of Donald Duck, and I was like. You know what, I really just like cartoons. Like, and I think once I realized that, it kind of took off, because that's what I was into, and I liked cartoons, and the realism was fun to study and stuff, but it wasn't what I really loved doing. And once I kind of found that, I think it, it worked out.